first of all, John, thank you for doing what you did. Thank you for giving us that story that went so viral last night. My first question, kind of an easy one, how did you sleep last night? <laughs> it was a very short night of sleep. Um, just a lot of emotions and a lot of people reaching out all over the country and uh, just showed a lot of support for me. And I hope uh, the lady I helped yesterday has a lot of the same support coming her way today. What's the reaction that stuck with you the most, the one that you've received, whether on the phone or social media, whatever it was? Um, just a lot of people just saying that they felt it was time for a feel-good story and um, that someone they knew that was a part of something special. And uh, I just was thankful that I could uh, bring them a, a happy story and not a sad one at this point. That's, I read the article in the Post-Gazette, and you said, you know, this has to have a good ending and not a bad ending. You sort of talking to yourself in that. You're, you're walking across the bridge. You've just gone for a run, I think. And you had some lunch, headed back to the hotel before the game. When did you know something was wrong? Yeah, I was just getting back on the bridge to make my walk across, and I saw a lady up ahead about 25 feet, and I saw her put her leg up on the rail. And I knew that was very unusual. And as I got a little bit closer, there was a couple ahead of me. And I said, what's this lady trying to do? And they said, well, I don't know. Next thing you know, she got herself on the other side of the rail and was just hanging onto the rail. And I got up to her and put my hand around her you know, shoulder and just said, you know, just try to calmly talk to her and see what was going on. And she said she was just trying to get a, look, a better look of the city from that side of the bridge. And there's not much room on that side of the bridge. And I knew that. Um, something else was potentially in store and that time I just put both my arms around her and uh, said hey why don't I take you to lunch and we talk about things and uh, you know just get you back on this side of the bridge and she just asked that I let her go and um, I said that wasn't gonna happen yeah I'm um, gonna bring her back on this side so um, thanks to other pedestrians that I was able to help uh, tell to call the 911 and uh, two other guys really helped me a ton um, at times throughout that whole process and EMS was awesome and thankfully we have a positive story over a negative one today.